the thing about Hillary Clinton is that she rose to power w before the internet and so had to really like grease palms I don't know this whole like people like using money for influence as opposed to using their words and the technology like back in the day that you used the money for influence because you needed access to the newspapers and now you don't really need money for influence you can just influence anyone so there's still these people that are like they think that giving money really influences and like they're taking full advantage of it printing as much as they can the money they know the money is kind of pointless there's infinite currencies bitcoin you know tons of digital currencies dogecoin ethereum they just keep making them and they make these functional currencies the currencies can actually do like computer programs and stuff so like it's more valuable than a dollar piece of cotton dollar or a coin well you could argue that a piece of metal could be valuable in the right situation like if you need to cut something but um, the value of like a computer program that can run just because you have the currency is like legit value. That means the currency actually has an inherent attributable value of usage. So these people that are holding on to like this Federal Reserve note, just destroying the Federal Reserve, they've just massacred massified it they've taken out i don't know how many trillions trillions and tr tens of trillions of dollars if not way more i have no idea on the books it's like 18 off the books could be 80 could be more i've heard that the richest person person in the world is the head of the rothschild family evelyn rothschild representing 450 trillion but like the forbes top 50 the rothschilds are never on that these you know, the real money owns, is like the Federal Reserve. That's a private company. That's All that stuff's owned by people that aren't, like, in the economy. They just, but they still use the money. And they own the money. Um, realistically, that private scam, just people didn't have the technology to tell other people, hey, it's a scam. So people didn't know. And they would print stuff that would be like, this is right. And then they made the schools, like the 20s, Rockefeller made the schools to teach people like, raise your hand and wait to be called on. Don't speak out of turn. Be very timid and obedient. I really, and so I did that. I spent my life doing that. I'm an example of someone browbeaten by this ridiculous school system. I thought that, you know, I was just open to suggestion, man, and they fucking turned me into a slave. Turned me into a robot. Fucking, I wonder how many other of you, if you're in that state too, have you been slavified? Get out of it because realistically you have to reach out and take it. And all this bullshit that's going on is not for us so to wait and find out. This is for us to change. You, we can make it right now. We write code, a computer program that we can vote online. It's so easy. Like, we can set up a legit system so that we know what people want, where they are, when to meet. It's just, then you get, like, coercion, coercion. Like, you get subversion. You get secrecy in groups of people that work outside of the public realm. And that's a natural part of reality. So, like... Will the public ever be the superpower? Yeah. But you have to watch out for mob mentality. For like 8 billion people, how many checks would you need? Like 60 checks and balances or 16 maybe? 60? Probably 60 for, for the whole world. Like 60 decision-making processes. It'd be pretty easy to globally unify. We're basically unified. But... 
So how I want to offer, I think of like King, Kim Jong Il or Kim Jong Un. What would giving the North Korean people access to democracy do for him? He has a nice palace, servants, waiters, relaxed environment. So how would that make his life better if the people started distributing his or had more access to the, the wealth, his wealth, his goods, I guess? Is it good? So you want, you want to make sure that he can still have the same amount of stuff. And like 3D print housing for people. Dirt cheap, at least a tenth of the cost, printed on site in these these giant, you know, shipping just square metal, and you just print modular how like huge houses on site in weeks in like ten days you can print a house and build it or twenty days or something weeks you know maybe less you could do that in North Korea. That'd be really smart. Solar power. That'd be a global movement. Like the globe, all the countries could get together and decide where to 3D print housing 